Thank you for being this, uh, this bill to the floor. Today I rise in support of H.R. 6757, the Family Savings Act, which will make it easier for American families and individuals to save for their future, whether it's retirement, education, or health care, helping them to make sure that they're keeping more of their hard-earned income, more of their own money, and planning for their future. This bill will also help local businesses provide retirement plans to their workers and help workers participate more in all those plans. Now, according to the Department of Labor and the Federal Reserve, about 69 million American workers have formal retirement plans, which together has almost $14 trillion in savings for them. This bill will incentivize hardworking American taxpayers to continue to put away more of their own money for their future. One of the things I remember so clearly from growing up is my parents talking to us all the time and saying, you know, the one thing we never want to be for you kids is a burden. We never want to be a hardship for you as we go into our senior years. And I thought to myself at that time, how could anybody look across the table with people who had worked so hard, had come through the Great Depression, had come through World War II, had come through the Korean War, had gone through all kinds of difficulties, and had always provided for us, and think that how in the world could they ever think that they would be a burden to me or to my brothers and sisters? It was unimaginable for me. But that's what they thought. That's what they worried about. They never wanted to be a burden to anybody. But just think about that for a minute. That generation, often descri de described as the greatest generation, was telling us, the next generation, that they never wanted to be a burden. And what, they were talk and what we're talking about today is relieving the burden on the next generation by making it easier for people to go into the retirement feeling that they have enough income to actually enjoy their golden years. H.R. 6757 will allow for every American worker at all income levels to save money in universal savings accounts in which those earnings would be tax-free and can be taken out at any time without a penalty. How unique to be able to take your own money out and use it without being penalized by the federal government. It would also allow Americans to use their 529 plans to pay for costs associated with homeschooling, apprenticeships, just like they now can for primary and secondary schools, thanks to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And if one sibling has more money in a 529 account than he or she needs, another sibling can use some of that money to help pay down their student loans. This bill would also allow younger taxpayers to take out some of their own money in their retirement account without penalty when they have a new baby or have an opportunity to adopt a child. This way, younger Americans will feel secure in starting to save for their retirement, knowing that the money could still be there for them at one of the most expensive times in their lives. H.R. 6757 would also make it easier for small employers to pull together and offer retirement plans to their team, to the folks they work with, their associates. This would help bridge that divide between what benefits large employers might be able to offer to their employees, but smaller employers may only want to wish to be able to do it, but really can't. The bill also allows for older Americans to continue saving in their IRAs if they choose to continue working in their later years, and it allows them to keep their own money in their IRAs if those accounts are relatively modest. For those workers who want their savings accounts to be in conservative investments, such as annuities, this bill reduces the cost of doing that. Finally, this bill would also help our brave men and women in the reserves put away more of their retirement by letting them contribute the maximum amount to their military retirement accounts while also contributing to a retirement account from the private sector. But let me tell you why we're really here today. We're really here today because of the overwhelming success of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. It has worked. It is incredible, the growth in our economy. The number one priority from the beginning of everything we did was about a pro-growth legislation that actually made it easier on hardworking American families. And you know what? Despite what you may hear and the rattle from the other side, it worked. And it's working every day. And we can see it in every measurable event of what's happening in America. Now, thanks to tax reform, middle-income middle families in western Pennsylvania and across America are seeing bigger paychecks more take-home money. How odd that we allow them to keep more of their own money. That's just who we are as Americans. Democrats have chosen to distort this success. Republicans are choosing to secure this success by making the tax cuts for middle-income families permanent. 
I keep hearing, yeah, yeah, but you're not really taking care of them. The idea that we use identity politics every day in every way in this house is absolutely deplorable. Tax Reform 2.0 is all about that. The truth of Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is its success. The saddest part of it all is not one of our Democrat colleagues voted for it. And for that, they will continue to distort the future and use identity politics.